One of the most unique ride types in all of Theme Park Tycoon would have to be the gentle rides. I mean, there are cups that spin you in a circle, airplanes that spin you in a circle, and balloons that spin you in a circle, huh. But some of them are bound to be worse than others, so today I thought it would be fun to grade each one. Now how am I going to rank huh? them? Well, I will be considering their price, their overall design, and controversially, my own opinion. And while some of the rides do have skins, I'm not going to be ranking each one of them, but the skins will help with the ride's overall score. So without further ado, make sure you're subscribed and let's get them ranked. Alright, so coming in dead last is the balloon ride. Now, I actually don't think they're that bad, and I believe they actually have a really unique design. However, my main issue comes with the price. It's the most expensive gentle ride in the game, and I just don't really think the price justifies it. Also, it takes up an 8x8 area, so unless you're rich like me and can afford the extra expansion plot pass, the ride's just going to be taking up some valuable real estate. Number 8, the Spiral Slide. Why does this ride exist? Okay, I can't describe why, but I just really hate it. It's like the ugly grunt in the litter. While all the other legacy rides have been retextured, the Spiral Slide has kept the same design for 8 years. That means I just don't really use them, and when I do, they just feel out of place. The only thing, and I mean the only thing, that saving this ride from complete annihilation is its price. Costing $600, it's one of the cheapest rides in the game, and for that, the ride will get spared. Also, while I was filming, I saw this player with like a hundred of these rides. This guy <laughs> needs to be studied in a lab. Number seven, the observation tower. This is just another one I don't really have a problem with. My big issue is that it's boring. Considering this game is about making a theme park, creating an observation tower instead of a ride just seems like a waste of time. Like, what are you supposed to do on the observation tower? Use your eyeballs? Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. However, I do like how you can customize the height of the tower to your liking. Number 6, the plane ride. This is the balloon ride, but done much better. Not only is it a lot cheaper, but it takes up less space than the balloon ride. Now, I think the biggest downgrade is the texture. Considering it was added nearly 6 years ago, the ride desperately needs a new skin. Still better than the spiral slide. However, it's the only plane ride in the whole game, so it does make the ride really unique. Besides this texture, I don't really have a problem with it and will add it to my parks. Number 5, the Ferris Wheel. Okay, so now we're moving on to the rides that you think of at a theme park. Now sure, it is expensive and doesn't have the most modern texture, but I think it's a fair trade considering you're getting a ride that is the first thing ChatGPT thinks about. Now if you're building a standard run of the mill theme park, I could see it being argued that the ride should be higher. But I think being in the middle of the pack is where it belongs. Number 4, the Dark Ride. Now, if you're first building a theme park, you might think this ride sucks. <laughs> sure, it does move really slow, but it is crucial if you want to create a uniquely themed ride. If you want to create, let's say, a Freddy Fazbear ride, you can do just that. So why isn't it ranked higher? Because while you can be really creative, they are a pain to set up, but in the end, they can be worth it. Number 3, the carousel. This is another classic. Now, if the texture wasn't updated, I mean look at this thing, then it definitely would be lower. But with the revamped texture, it definitely deserves to be in the top 3. I also really like the Easter skin, but I think it's a little too whimsical for my taste. However, if you want to create an Alice in Wonder themed ride, you could definitely use this skin. I just don't. Karen all. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Number two, the teacups. Now, this is a certified hood classic. Even without the updated skin, you would have to be insane to not put it in the top three. Up to this point, all the rides have either been too expensive, ugly, or take up too much space. But the teacup ride manages to be affordable and only be contained in a 3x3 area, which is why it's the default ride for the tutorial. Also, who hasn't ridden one of these in real life at an amusement park? Okay, well I actually haven't because I've never touched grass, but that's besides the point. And number one, the car ride. From the very beginning, this was the obvious choice. It's got four different skins, and even if you're poor in credits, the basic skin is still pretty cool. 
And sure, while they can't be more expensive to build than the other rides, you get to decide that. You could actually see a lot of uses for the police and firefighter skin. My personal favorite is the golden one because if you're a bookworm like me, I'm really not the American education system forced me, then you'll know from The Great Gatsby, Jake Gatsby drove a car like this and I think it would be really cool to make a ride based off it. Well that's it for me, please like and subscribe and leave any other rankings you want me to do in the comments. Peace!